Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about full stack developers and responsibilities. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is a full stack developer and what responsibilities does such, an, such a developer have basically? And the short answer is that a full stack developer is a person who knows how to work with the UI of an application and also with the server side of an application. And optionally, this is not always the case, knows how to deal with infrastructure and setting things up and so forth. They are the unicorn developers, as some people like to call them. Now, let me just explain here a little bit. So when it comes to responsibilities and things that a full stack developer focuses on, it's a little bit different because we need to make a separation between what is a die hard requirement for a full stack developer and what is very common. Like when we're talking about responsibilities because your responsibilities as a full stack developer may vary a little bit depending on where you work. Now, as an example, I can give you that some full stack developers, they are, they look at themselves as what they call, as what they call application developers. Now, an application developer is, as you might have imagined, just a person who really wants to focus on the application code of a, well, a web application basically. And that means that they don't really have an interest or anything like that to do anything outside of working with the UI, working with the server code, and that's about it. But when it comes to setting things up, such as infrastructure, such as CI pipelines, Git uh, repositories, um, things of this nature, logging and etc., etc., they may not be so interested in that sort of thing, or that might not be the sort of thing that they focus on. Now, the like usually when I talk to people who call themselves application developers, they are what I call professional programmers. Like they have learned the skills necessary to work as full stack developers, but they may not be so passionate about moving further beyond that. They want to focus on that part. Now that is technically within reason, but at the same time, it's a little bit tricky for you to say that, oh, that's what I'm all about. Because if you state that you don't to do anything outside of the application code, you're very similar to a front-end developer who believes that he or she can just state that, hey, you know what, I don't work with anything except for the UI, I don't care about anything else. And you simply don't have that option. It all comes down to, well, you do have it, let's be honest here, you do have the option if you really wanted to, but I can tell you this, the second you tell your manager or like your boss comes in and says, hey, you know, we have all of these things that we need you to do, and then you kind of go, nope, that's not my job you're gonna have a bit of a pickle. Like that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Like that's where we, we talk about, where we're kind of coming on this topic, what are your responsibilities? Because responsibilities are, they're not set by you or some special like rule that there is in this industry. They are set by the company in the context that you find yourself in. This is, uh, I've had this discussion a few times with people where they seem to believe that just because you have a specific job title and your main primary fu uh, function within a company is one thing, that that means that that absolves you from all of the responsibilities that could come your way. That's just not the way it works. If you are a, uh, I mean, uh, I have a friend, he works as a security guard. Now his job is to make sure that things, you know, nobody's stealing something or something of that nature. But his company also has contracts where he needs to go and switch all of the, all the lights in factories and sometimes even clean the factory because he gets paid to do whatever the fuck his boss wants him to do. And if he wants to keep the job, that's what he is going to do. And that's why I want to say that even though full, technically being a full stack developer really is a, the term means that you are equally or at least to some degree equipped to deal with UI work and backend work. You should be aware of that this term DevOps and so forth it's so gray. Like in one company, you may have people who are dedicated to taking care of all this stuff. And in another company, you're forced to take care of that as well. And something you should know is that within IT, you usually have front end developers and back end developers, and then you have full stack developers. Now, people don't hire front end or back end developers 
with the same mindset. But when they hire a full stack developer, it's pretty much the same thing all the time. <clears throat> and that is that the same, it's the mindset that <clears throat> this person can pretty much do whatever. That, that is the, that's the idea. Now, that's not always 100% accurate because even if you are a full stack developer, that doesn't mean that you are a master of all the frameworks or like all the UI stuff and the backend or vice versa. It just means that you can produce results in both of these areas. You may have, you be leaning towards one thing or the other. It's a very, it's a bit of a gray zone. Some people that I know, they call themselves backend developers even though they know perfectly well how to use React and Angular and like all the other stuff, right? But they still think of that as something that they're not very good at. So it's more of a confidence type of thing and being honest about their own skill level rather than not being able to do it. And that's why I think it's, as I said before, it's a little bit cute and naive when people say that, oh no, you know, front end that's just UI or back end that's just, you know, you never touch any UI related work because it's just not true. It might be your focus, but if your boss tells you that you need, they need you to jump, you're going to have to jump most of the time. So what I want you to take away from this is that a full stack developer is an individual that has the ability to work on both the front end part of an application, the UI layer, usually a web interface of some sort, CSS, JavaScript, all of this good stuff, right? Back end developer is the one who works on the back end, is the person who manages the system and all of this stuff. The full stack developer is the one who can do both. And apart from that, usually a back end developer and a full stack developer find themselves being responsible especially in days today like today where we have docker and we have all of the, this other stuff right they find themselves responsible for taking care of infrastructure related things as well setting up clusters and like all of this stuff depending of course on where you work but you shouldn't be surprised if that's part of your job description as well so when it comes to responsibilities you can think of a full stack developer as the person who's responsible for everything that's why you that's why you hire a full stack developer because you need a person that is pretty much a one fit type one solution to solve all these problems at the same time they want a universal person who can pretty much take care of whatever is thrown their way that is usually why you hire a full stack developer even though it's not always a hard requirement so have that with you thank you and have a great day